Hello, Europe. Uh, we're going to jump right into the game here. Uh, one thing to note up front, uh, if you've played this game before, there's this big, like, seven minute long walking sequence where you're just walking and, like, you can't optimize it for anything. So we're just not going to do that, basically. <laughs> oh, faster! And that's why the timer is not at zero, because that's still technically part of the run. But let's, let's get into it here. The time's going to start kind of awkwardly after this loading screen, like that. Cool. All yep. right. Nice. Let's get the party started. So getting into some combat here. Um, this is pretty straightforward. We're just going to knock a guy down, do a ground takedown, knock a guy down, do a ground takedown, get absolutely robbed. So try that again. Sometimes you can get away with that. Sometimes you can't. It is what it is. Um, here's a great. Uh, I have mouse wheel binds. So I'm going to use my literally cheating mouse to open it faster. Thank you. Here's some more guys. So this is going to be pretty much the same idea, but I'll do it a little differently. I'm going to throw a Batarang to lose my combo to do this ground takedown faster. And then when I punch this guy twice, he gets knocked out. And then do the same thing. Batarang, get the faster ground takedown, and then knock that guy out. Perfect. All right, moving right along. Uh, there's a trophy here. And with my mouse wheel binds again, I can pick up the trophy multiple times. Hang on, let me make sure I'm going to do this right. All right. So spin the mouse wheel as I walk into it. Bunch of bats show up. We got 11,000. That's really good. Nice. Cool. So we're looking for like six to 8,000, basically. <laughs> and we got 11, so we're good. And now we can buy an upgrade. Uh, we're going to buy the critical strikes. Uh, basically, this means we can knock people out in two hits. So that's good. Um, and now we're just waiting a little bit so we can do introductions. Uh, I'm Shicken. Uh, I'm Robo Sparkle. I uh, ran this game at DSA 10 years ago. And uh, so you hear a lot of in my day from me. Yeah. He, he inspired the people that inspired me to speak on. <laughs> <laughs> I am the grandfather of Aquaman's side of speedrunning. And I'm a 1i Deacon. I um, sometimes speedrun this, but I speedrun a lot of the other Arkham games as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When, when, when I say I ran this in 2012, I looked it up um, just now. Uh, the estimate is literally half the time of the 2012 speedrun. Yeah. Yeah, this run's changed quite a lot in the last 10 years. Can you hear me? Um, this part of the game's pretty straightforward. There's just uh, Joker broke out of the asylum or whatever. There's chaos everywhere. We gotta help, I guess. So we're gonna help a little bit. Joker didn't break out of the asylum. You oh, yeah, brought him. You brought him home. Yeah, we brought him in, and then he started just like breaking everything. So here's Zaz. Uh, we have to knock him out. So we'll just chuck a batarang at him and then punch him in the face. That takes care of that. Um, not too much is going on at the moment, so we probably have time for some messages. Well, in that case, I'm also about prizes. So we're going to talk about some prizes here. We have some wonderful things that you can donate your money towards, and uh, it, it stacks up. So if you see Batman here and you like what you see, you donate $10, you're in for a few prizes. But maybe down the line later, You'll see another game, and you want to donate another $20, and you'll get yourself in for even more prizes, because that stacks up. And over the course of an entire marathon, if you go up and beyond $100, which is amazing, thank you so much for that already, you'll be in running for basically every prize we have on offer here, including PS5s, Steam Decks, Nintendo Switches, Retro Tinks, some wonderful Iron Fist Alexander, uh, Alexander pot from a game that's Elden Ring, but apparently not as so good as Dark Sassy is. Um, and we have some other wonderful prints available as well, so check out prizes.esamarathon.com to see some amazing prizes over there and get your donations in. PS5 is a great prize. Mm. I love uh, Ratchet & Clank Ripped Apart. Great There's game. like seven of them available, so yeah, you yeah. want to get your money in for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so in this room, uh, Joker has unleashed his laughing gas, which is not great, and there's these people we need to rescue, um, so we're not going to do that. Just, I'll just ignore them. They're, they're fine. They can yeah. climb up on their own. I mean, they have to hold on for like yeah. literally the time it takes you to glide and turn <laughs> on the extractor fans. There we go. Yeah. Problem solved. Moving on. Uh, one, one other thing is there's this Riddler trophy found text um, because <laughs> we basically have collected 80 trophies, the same trophy 80 <laughs> times. So we're going to get about 80 Riddler trophy found messages. <laughs> Yeah, the game's going to make sure we know exactly how <laughs> yeah. many we got. And and if you um, if you count exactly how many Riddler trophies were found, and you donate in and you tell us the correct number, you'll be in a draw to win a prize. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, so we have the first boss fight of the run. So the way you fight him is, um... wait, guys, what um, do you do? Oh, is it, um, so oh. so on on 360, which is what I ran, uh -huh. um, it was the X button. The X button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The X is punch. So I'm on a PlayStation controller. So that's. This one? Um, no, that's Wait. square. Yeah. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that you're not supposed to just stand there and get hit, right? Oh, no, no. Not? You, you oh. definitely need to press one of the buttons. Um, um, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Wait. Have you tried pressing left? Uh, here. I got this. There were okay. Xbox okay. We got Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. You. We, we beat the boss. <laughs> um, okay. So, so what was actually happening there is that boss is just on a timer. But if you're about to die, the game, like, doesn't want you to get killed by the tutorial boss. So it just saves you. And he just gets killed on. Yeah, yeah the, game, the game just assumes. Yeah, you probably got it. Yeah. But you let yourself get twatted in the face twenty times. Yeah. You, you're probably fine. Yeah. Um, not too much going on here. There's another trophy over here I can do. I really, I got so much experience. I don't need it, but we're just waiting for stuff, so there's no reason not to. Uh, we probably have time for a donation here. Well, in that case, indeed, I do have one. I wonder how you know that. <laughs> I have Mike the Whiz Kid here. With $25, says, good evening, good chicken, and good deacon. Thank you for that donation. Thanks, Mike. Broke those cameras there. That was very important. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. <laughs> just, you got no, this, it. You're this just standing there waiting for a door, so yeah. why not? This isn't sissy, mate. You don't get any <laughs> yeah. breaking cameras. There'll be another fight into this hallway. The fights are all going to look the same for a bit, but eventually they'll start adding more thugs and then we can start actually using the critical strikes. For now, it's just usual. Um, there's a little bit of a strat here, so there's going to be a call with Oracle, and we're going to try to ignore that and just do this crime scene thing while we're talking to her. Yeah, and there's something about Frank Bowles. Yes. Yeah. Looking at his alcohol breath or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what that did was instead of having to like stop and talk to oracle and skip the dialogue it just automatically skips it because like i don't know why it, that happens actually it's kind of weird i guess I the dialogue triggers just interrupt cool. each other or something i always assume it's because that um normally you're supposed to scan the thing after after you've had the the, the core of oracle so if you've already scanned the thing perhaps the game just assumes that you've therefore had the core of oracle yeah that could be it i mean this is a game that's built on triggers and a lot of the speed run, a lot of the routing is how can we activate this trigger yeah so this is a fun parkour segment lots of grappling lots of jumping around most of it is pretty much as intended but there is a fun little strat right up here so what you're supposed to do is like shimmy around this thing but instead of that i'm just going to line this up like so Make sure I have this right. Whoops, did not mean to throw a batter in there. Nice. Nice. Got it. Nice. Very. There's an, there's an even harder way to set that up somehow. And I don't know why everyone does it that way. The way I do it is much easier. It's one of the skips that you probably don't notice has happened unless you speed from the game. But repeating that actual climb properly, uh, as we did in my day, uh, it's very tedious and takes a lot of time. Um, so yeah, that's a this very nice fight skip. is over. <laughs> 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 that happens a lot too. Yeah, having crits again, you can knock people out in two hits. We're playing on easy, the lowest mm. difficulty, because it's the fastest. So yeah, and everyone it, just gets destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, in yeah, in, in easy mode, everyone can be reduced from full to zero HP with one hit and one crit. Yeah. And we're gonna see stealth on easy. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah. this is some All right. stealth gameplay. Alright, don't get seen. Remember, guns are dangerous. Okay. But luckily, Batman can block the bullets with his body. Yeah. It's kinda like the new Shh. Batman movie. Alright, move quietly by crouching to getting close for a silent takedown. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Kids these days just don't listen. Alright, there's a cell section up here that we actually have to do, but fortunately. The game lines everything up for us pretty neatly. Just knock this guy down, the batarang to a ground takedown, and then this guy's just hanging up on this ledge here. So we'll just do that. That takes care of him. And this last guy here. Oh, excuse the flashing. There we go. 
Interesting. I don't, th I don't think the routes actually change um, between easy and hard, uh, even with the old and new routes. Yeah, it's just... It's just riskier on hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's basically the penalty for getting it wrong. Yeah. So there's yeah. another section here. Three dudes show up, so we're going to battering the guy on the left, and then we're going to distract everyone else with a battering over here. Actually, okay, that didn't quite... The, the AI behavior isn't 100% consistent, so sometimes things don't quite go the way you plan, but it's fine. You can just punch everybody. No big deal. I, I do like that if you're trying to do a ground takedown on someone and you get punched... That interrupts Batman. Yeah. If you got shot three times, <laughs> Batman just goes, "Excuse me, I'm 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 busy." Oh, I didn't get it. Oh. Uh. There's a you can interrupt the animation of climbing ladders, but it's like frame perfect, so it's a little tricky. And it's like useless; it doesn't do anything. It just looks funny. Um, so right now, uh, there's going to be some dialogue with Riddler. In a normal run, we would skip this. Um, but doing that skip, there's a very small chance that the game will softlock, which means that in a marathon, there's a 100% chance the game will softlock, so we're just going to not take that risk. Um, in the meantime, we can have a donation. Well, indeed, we do have one again. And I have yours truly commentator with $20 that also has some love for you to say, says, Sup, Sheikin, good luck with your run. That's also going towards the Alien Isolation Blindfold Mission. Thank you so much for that donation. I have a question. Let me ask you. <clears throat> Has the grandfather of Batman, what is the biggest change you've seen going on over the last decade? Oh, I've seen many things. I've seen empires rise and fall and civilizations crumble. But I suppose, well, a lot of the, a lot of the zips that you're going to see are, are, are very rare. It's not just a time thing, but it's also a transition from console to PC gaming. Also, we don't get... Uh, the bat claw until really late in the run. Yeah, we just kind of skip that. Yeah, but that's for later. Um, what is there to talk about right now? We're just running through a hallway. <laughs> I've uh, thank a you, commentator. <laughs> that, that is that is a loss of what this game is about, though. I guess we can take another donation. Heck yes! I have Sooty Bunsen with twenty-five dollars and says, "Wait, did someone say Bruce Wayne is Batman?" Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Don't mention that. Are we sure no, no. about that? That's mm -hmm. a crazy idea. That's yeah. like saying the journalist, Clark Kent is... Damn it. I have to say it. I have to say it. It's Superman. Shh, 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 shh. We don't say that either. Could never happen, though. Shout out to the ESA. This is the marathon that Gotham needs. I fully agree. Thank you so much for that donation. Probably have time for one more. There and is one more. In that case, I'm going to point out again, like, we have a blindfold mission for Alien Isolation coming up. Like, I'm going to stay up late anyway at this point, <laughs> and we are getting closer to that. We are less than $600 away from getting that mat. So keep those donations coming and keep putting them towards incentives because we get more crazy stuff here to happen at ESA at this point. And I'll love to see some blindfolded action here at ESA. It's always amazing. And blindfolded action is what the marathon of ESA and what Gotham actually really needs. Because how does Batman even see through that mask? Really? Good point. Yeah, Alien Isolation Blindfolded sounds very interesting. I can't yeah. imagine that. All right, so we've got a big fight here. Uh, these guys are wrecking our car, so we're going to politely ask them to stop. We're using sign language. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a friendly debate. Yeah. <laughs> Such there a beautiful come. language. We've come, to, we've come to an agreement. Yeah. Yeah, getting the most important gadget in the run. The supply of explosives. <laughs> yeah. As Batman puts it. All right, yeah, this is a very important gadget. This basically enables all the glitches we're going to do for the rest of the game. Mm. So I will demonstrate in one moment. We just need to get through this wall. This is how you're supposed to use the explosive gel to just blow things up. And, I mean, that's cool and all, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But and that, that was the one and only time you use it seen you see it done properly. <laughs> so <laughs> I so hope you enjoyed it. Glitch. Um <laughs> Wait what? You just you just threw a batarang. Surely that's not a glitch. Yeah, so uh I did like an animation cancel thing on the corner and what that does is it makes the game remember that Batman was aiming a batarang on that specific corner. So the next time I aim a batarang, Batman will go into that corner position. And when you throw a batarang in that weird glitched corner position, um, it tries to move you towards the origin of the world, which happens to be to the left here, which is where we're going. 
Um, something like that. Cool. Now I just got to get the storage again because we're going to need it in two seconds. That's called a zip. There's another one, in case here, you missed it. Yeah, here we're supposed to rescue some doctors, but we're going to not do that. Yeah, that's optional. <laughs> They're probably fine. Yeah. I mean, it's not, like, it's not like the Joker would just kill them arbitrarily. All right, so I'm going to do this really weird setup. Make sure my mouse is locked so I don't accidentally do something wrong. Aim at that. Slide, slide a little bit to the left. Slide all the way down. Okay, we got it. Nice. Game's a little confused here. It's going to take a second to figure out what just happened, and there we go. Now we can progress the story. Uh, fun fact, uh, so I reloaded Checkpoint there. It turns out on the original release on uh, Steam and the original console releases as well, you can't reload. The, the pause menu just completely breaks. So that sucks. You have to, like, force quit the game. Uh, but fortunately, on the Epic Game Store version, which is what I'm using, and also the remasters on PS4 and Xbox One, you can just reload. So that saves us. It's like it's like a 30 second difference per skip, and there's two skips where that matters in this. A so events in this game. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great. I mean, this, the scarecrow sections of this game, I think for me, are Wait. the absolute highlights. Wait, who's scarecrow? Yeah, I don't know. By um, the way, they, he's, he's one of the optional characters. Yeah, Commissioner Gordon's dead. By the way. Yeah. It's, you know, it's really bold of them. Like, this is the first game in the series. No one was really sure that they could make a good Batman game. And they were like, yeah, we're going to kill a major character right at the beginning. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the thing is, is, is Batman has died multiple times in DC Media. I'm that's pretty sure Commissioner Gordon has never died. That's true, yeah. They really were the first. Okay, we're going to hit a corner. You know, not, not through this yeah. hallway. Not without being a fake out or an alternate universe or something. Uh, don't mind that weird thing you just saw. That's not important. What's not important? Nothing. Okay. There's nothing in the why, morgue, why so Batman's we're going to go back into the morgue. All right. Then we just, like, leave the morgue into the morgue. Yeah. This is our dead dad. This is all perfectly normal, by the way. Like, this is supposed to be happening. Like, this happens to me every day. Yeah. Well, why didn't you stop them like a man? Yeah, I don't know. Have you I'm... considered stopping them like a bat instead? That is a good idea. There's okay. my dead mom. Hey, mom. She's being kind of weird right now, but it's okay. Uh, I don't yeah. know what this third body bag is. I, um, what is this? No! Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. That really got me. Oh. All right, uh, we're never gonna see Scarecrow again. That was that was the one and only time, because we're just gonna do a little bit of Yeah, this. yeah, that was definitely scary. I don't, I don't, th I don't think we want anything to do with that. A little bit of that. <laughs> and then we'll just glide over yeah, this yeah. thing, which happens to be the end of the first Scarecrow section. Yeah. Uh, Scarecrow's supposed to be here, but he's <laughs> not, and that's okay. Yeah. yeah. It's all part of Batman's plan. Th these sections are like the most memorable and most annoying parts of the game, and we just skip all of it. <laughs> yeah, we skip. They are, they are basically the highlights of the casual playthrough. Yeah. We're just running through some hallways here, getting back to where we started. This is there's a sad irony about the uh, amount of time we spent optimizing the Scarecrow yeah. fights. Well, oh, one, one, one and three we did. It wasn't Gord. Oh, it wasn't. What? Gordon's not dead. That okay. That makes sense. Oh, it was just a random faceless mook. Yeah, he doesn't even have a oh. name tag. So like, forget that guy. Oh. Well, thank goodness it wasn't anyone important. <laughs> yeah. God, that would have sucked. There's some dudes here. They're gonna break down this door in a second. Well, how can you do that? Have you got X-ray vision? Are you yeah. Superman or something? Got a little too close to the door there while I was messing around. That's okay. We can just ignore those guys. They're not important. Oh, what? Like that random mook that died? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Do a zip here. Open this vent. Then right after opening this vent, we'll zip into the vent. A lot... This is this is like the main tech of this run. It's There's, there's just a lot of zipping. It's also cool when the zips work. There we go. Hey. Oh, by the way... uh. Basically, the zips, um, as we're doing them, essentially work the same way to a certain extent in Arkham City. Yeah, there's there's a decent amount of overlap in tech between these games. The um, the animation cancels actually are exactly the same yeah. in Asylum City and Origins, and there's a variation of them in Night. Um, so this is a stealth room. We're supposed to do this stealthily, so naturally we're just going to run through it. Yeah, you can't knock any of the guards out because otherwise Harley Quinn knows, and then she actually kills Commissioner Gordon for real. Yeah. So and then it's game over. Them out, yeah. Which we totally so, did not just do. Yeah, yeah. Probably shouldn't knock any of these guys out. That's fine. We got it. Of 
All right, that takes care of Harley. Uh, coming up, we have the first real boss fight, Bane. Uh, Robo, if you want to talk about Bane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Bane's a lot of fun. Bane's uh, essentially this sort of boss version of the Titans, uh, where you're supposed to throw batarangs at him um, to, to get him distracted so he runs into a wall. By the way, Bane is super intelligent. Anyway, as I was saying, um, he has his uh, several phases um, uh, based, based on his health bar. Um, the, the fun thing about doing this in, in hard mode is doing this strat basically only takes off a tight, tight, tight chunk of uh, Bane's self and you have to do either get him to charge multiple times while the mooks come in and attempt to distract you or do a lot of punching. Uh, luckily we're on easy mode so you can just throw the batter around, distract him, take a tiny amount of damage and just win. And that's Bane done. Yeah. We win. Did I mention that Bane's a genius? Yeah, he's very smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so... Anyway, that's Bane defeated, but he's not actually defeated. Um, we were also uh, wrecking with the Batmobile in the cutscene. Yeah, some stuff <laughs> happens. It's, I haven't watched the cutscene in a while. I don't remember. Moving yeah. On. Yeah, yeah. Got some more zips here. Yeah, spoiler, spoiler alert. You didn't actually come close to actually defeating Bane in that boss fight. Yeah. It was all done in the cutscene. So, go up here. If I didn't mess this up, then I'll zip all the way to the door we're trying to get to. Perfect. Nice. Go here. We're, for some reason, not going to chain this storage because it doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work. We're just going to grab this corner. Now, this corner is special because you can flip back and forth on the corner to, like, look in different directions. And that actually leads to a zip as well. So we're going to do a zip here where I get on this tree in just the right way. And then... Instead of throwing a battering, just flip over. Perfect. Nice. We're supposed to be getting the bat claw here in the bat cave. Uh, but we're not doing that. <laughs> we're going to skip that. Yeah, we're doing a pretty crazy sequence here. It's This is the scariest part of the run. It's like not very marathon safe. I have backup saves, so I, if things go horribly wrong, it'll be fine. But ideally, they don't. <laughs> Yeah, because what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to enter this mansion using the bat claw. So we need to do a zip in order to get past that point. And then after we get into the mansion, we also need to use the bat claw again. So we're going to have to do another zip uh, to avoid that. Essentially, this uh, skips a whole section uh, in which Batman informs Oracle that uh, he saved an inmate from uh, jumping to his death on Dead Man's Bluff or something to, to that effect. Which is where he found this big old cave and decided to set up a second bat cave. Rather conveniently, where the game takes place, um, and that's where you get the that's where you get the back claw. Yeah. But uh, as I've been reliably, reliably yeah, so informed, you only here we're we're pausing in order to load in this area properly because apparently the area can load in in the pause menu as well. Um, and we're running over to this door, which will be um, next story objective. Uh, we can reload here uh, on the Epic Games version only on Steam. You have to Alt F4, and so we got it. Um, good job, Chicken. Yes, <laughs> I'm really happy we got that. That yeah. would have been annoying to back up. There's like there's no backup for that skip. You just you get it or you reset. <laughs> this is uh, apparently both instances in which you actually need the bat claw. Yeah, you never need it ever again. <laughs> we're gonna buy a bunch of upgrades. Double and triple batarang will matter later, and then we're gonna use the remote control batarang right now. So uh, Zaz is back. He's got a hostage. Um. You're supposed to throw a batarang at his head, so instead we're going to throw a remote control batarang at his head. This remote. Oh, let me say that that is, you know, one of the intended solutions. Yeah. You do, yeah. There is a sequence where you kind of meant to like peek out and throw the batarang at the right time, but this is 100% intended as a as a solution. Yeah. Remote control batarang is also the worst gadget in the game. It's <laughs> yes. so hard to control. Yeah, they, they improve it so much in the later games that, like, mm. going back to Asylum and controlling it that way is, is kind of brutal. Mm. Um, unfortunately, we kind of need to. That wasn't that wasn't yeah. the main usage for the RC Batarang. There's actually another one that's going to come up in a minute or so here. Um, so this is going to be a skip called Bell Skip. Uh, there used to be a way to do Bell Skip that really, really sucked. Oh, God. If anybody's watched ESA, I think it was 2016. <laughs> will have watched me uh, doing bell skip for quite some time. Yeah, so instead of that, we're down here, and we're going to throw a batarang right about here. And you'll notice up there, <laughs> it's hard to see right now, but there's no bell. There's supposed to be a bell there. Um, it is very hard to see the bell. Yeah. 
Uh, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. We're just going to go into just the right part of this rope. I messed it up. That's okay. So the really cool thing about the RC Batarang is it has this ridiculous cooldown on it, mm. even though it's a completely useless gadget. <laughs> I have no idea why they thought it needed a cooldown. Yeah. I mean, it also has the turning circle of an industrial freighter. <laughs> Try this again. This rope is really deceptive. There's, there's oh, like yeah. a small chunk of it that you can actually hit. Yeah, yeah, Mo most of it. And this, this is why bell skip, the original bell skip, is so difficult. There we go. Is is so little of that. Like you don't really appreciate how little there's of that bell, bell uh, how little of that rope actually exists in the game, because you're meant to cut it after Scarecrow too, and it's meant to be an auto-targeted batarang. Yeah, and also um in the original bell skip, you have to. And that's it through some planks. Yes, you've, you've, you find some very tiny holes with planks. There's two opportunities that are kind of big enough, both big enough for the batarang to get through and far away enough from the rope that you could turn the batarang enough to hit it in yeah. time. And the reason why we had to do bell skip is because um, the door we went into, you're supposed to drop the bell after Scarecrow um, to open that area up. But since we just went there directly after going out of bounds, um, we need to be able to get out. So. Uh, that's why we have to drop the bell there. We probably have time for a donation. All right, I have a ten dollar donation by anonymous here with no comment, so I'm gonna use that time to actually just show how important every single dollar matters because ten dollars does give a mother and child fleeing a conflict area food for a week. Like ten dollars means a lot in that kind of a situation, and we also have a wonderful twenty-five dollar anonymous donation. That's good for another example that I have ready for you. It can actually provide a safe harbor for 10 kids for a month. That is how much a donation can matter. That's how much every single dollar can count here. So thank you so much for those donations. Keep them coming, everyone. And I see those donations going towards Alien Isolations, Blindfold Admission. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that personally as well. Thank you. That is just huge. All right, so what I just did was there's there's a way you can zip where instead of just, like, getting launched towards something, you, like, bounce off of stuff. So I did, like, a bounce zip there and then did a glide over some guys so that... That glide is... Them. Yeah, and that glide's harder than it looks. Yeah. It's, yeah, again, especially in this game, like, the gliding is you have very limited control about how you glide. Your options are slightly left or slightly right. Yeah, pretty much. It's It's really not, like... City uh, Origins or All Nights, where you can essentially fly if you have a tiny bit of room. Yeah, there's a so there's a couple zips in this building on the way in, but that's pretty much going to be it. There's not there's not too many zips we can do because they all go this way, and um, we can't like go out of bounds in this building because we have these automated doors. If you're like on the wrong side of them, there's just no way to like force the the side that you're on to be loaded. So is there also a lot of it to get out of bounds in this area? Um, I know we never really explored it. I, I don't know. I just know that if you did, it would be useless. Yeah. Yeah, this is Quincy Sharp. We've totally mentioned him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah he's a really important person in, yeah, in the like Batman canon. Yeah, he runs the prison. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's running it so well. Uh, <laughs> he might even run for mayor, given how well he's running. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, I would, the I would totally man. vote the heck out of that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, and getting the this cryptographic sequencer gets us the back claw for some reason. Yeah. So... <laughs> Now that we have it's, it, we can use it. I mean, there's, there's, there's a not dissimilar thing in City, which uh, kind of gives you the uh, the line launcher yeah. once you uh, yeah. reach a certain point in the story, because it reasons, well, you should have the line launcher at this point. Here you yeah. go. All right, so I'm buying two upgrades here. One increases the range of my hacking. That'll be important later. And one of them just makes the hacking easier. Um, that's really nice. Uh, so there's supposed to be a cutscene here with Poison Ivy, but we skipped it. So now it's going to happen. But um, her hair is... Uh... <laughs> yeah. I mean, she, that 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 woman, that woman's hair really knows how to emote. As we make our way in here, there's gonna be a big fight. It's kind of awkward because like there's there's a thing in the middle of the room like preventing us from just like bouncing all the way around. But we'll try to knock these guys out efficiently. Three of them usually stick together, and then one guy is over there getting a gun. I don't really have a line to him, so I'll have to just do this. That's usually how that turns out. Yeah. And then if I get over here, I can try to keep them all in this hallway. I kind of didn't do that, but that's okay. They must Mean be there. Meanwhile, Harley's just swinging there. We're just... Yeah, she's just chilling up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's living her best life. 
attack this thing from here since we have our range upgrade. It's a small little opposition. Dive roll during the cutscene. Now we can go down here. Um, we could probably read a donation now. There's not too much going on right now. All right, I have a $75 donation by Mr. Who. Thank you so much for that. That has no comment, but as I've said before, every single dollar matters. $75 is a lot. Thank you so much for that amazing donation. And I have another one that I'm going to squeeze in as well. RCMP Quarter, give some more love. $25 here. Thanks for the entertainment, Sheikin. Indeed, thank you so much for this amazing run. I'm having a blast just sitting here, just enjoying the Batman run. It's been awesome. Yeah, thank you. All right, so this room, uh, there's these two guards. They're in trouble. Um, we're going to get them not in trouble. Um, this room would be interesting if it wasn't, like, really easy. <laughs> you just turn off the electricity, and then you can do both of them at the same time with a double battering. It is a little harder in 100%. Fun fact, you can hack this thing before the uh, before you're supposed to, but you don't actually want to do that because if you succeed, apparently, I don't, I've never personally confirmed this, but apparently it like just breaks the hacking panel and then you can't progress. It would make sense with how the game yeah. works. Yeah, it's what I expect. I've just never personally seen it. Yeah, I think I've only ever got as far as you did, which is the, ooh. Nice, about got the whole cycle. Oh, very good. <laughs> we just today, found a setup for that. A uh, shout out to Elite. And this, that is the, one. this is the first time he did that. This is Yeah, I didn't even practice it. I was just like, yeah, yeah. let's try it. It's, it's one of the things, I think certainly uh, for the time that I was uh, running the game in the main, you just kind of assumed that it wasn't possible to do because there just seemed to be no way to, to, to make it happen and get the cutscene and let it through, uh, let you through. So you're supposed to climb up there to hack a thing, but there's a little hole in the floor that we can just hack through. That's convenient. Yeah. And in, then in right after this, we're going to throw a cinematic gadget. Kind of breaks the camera a little bit, and then we can control Batman during the cutscene. Uh, interesting, because it's possible to, to break that first, it is actually possible to go up there without having first opened the vent, and then go up there, and then get stuck in the uh, vent, yes. and you can get trapped in there. So here's a fight. Um, these floors are going to be electrified in like a pattern. Um, we don't really care too much about that. We're just gonna try to do the fight. Did I knock out three of them in one yes. hit? Nice. You got you got a triple, triple break in one go. Fair. Oh, I got a double there, yeah. and then another double. <laughs> what is and happening? And they're about dude? to get electrocuted. I just got to keep them down here. Yeah. And there we go. That takes care of that. Oh no, you're getting electrocuted. Yeah. Electric is probably... really dangerous. Yeah, you should probably do something about that. Yeah. The hard version of this fight uh, consists on sort of choreographing. Your, your enemies so that they're on the right floor. Yeah, and easy, you just... You just <laughs> easy, you, easy you, just, you just... You just Maybe press, some bat clones. Yeah, yeah you, just, you, just, you just press the Batman punches button. Yeah, that was a really good fight, actually. Yeah. All right, Harley is taken care of. Um, she said something about a secret lab in the gardens, so we're going to try to figure out what that's all about. Probably go to the gardens and find out. Yeah. Oh, by the way, look at all the objective markers. <laughs> <laughs> the game is a little confused. <laughs> Eventually this door opens. There we go. It's always just a little awkward how long you have to wait there. Oh, and there are these lunatics that have been released uh, in the asylum. They're very annoying um, mm. if they jump onto you. Yeah, we've seen a few of them so far, but we'll start seeing a lot of them now. Yeah. So that, I'm just punching them right away so that they don't jump on me. If they jump on you, you have to like mash the the whatever button on the controller to get them off of you, yeah. and it like eats your health. It's really annoying. Yeah. They they basically rodeo you like the Titans. Yeah, exactly. Essentially, it's it's kind of a how do you like it? And then this lunatic is pretty funny. Yeah, so we ideally don't want to fight this one. We're just going to yoink him. And since we yoinked him before he was actually an enemy in a fight with us, we can just leave as long as we do it quickly. Uh, we're going to set up a zip here. I like setting up the zip. You just kick that guy and then you zip. Very handy. Does that one just work? Like... Is that just a consistent setup for it? Yep. You kick, you, you kick the you kick the lunatic and it just puts you in the perfect position. Yep, exactly. Nice. 
off of this. Um, wait for that guy to get out of the way. There we go. That lunatic can block your zip. I've had it happen only once, but yeah. Yeah, the, the zips are, are very positionally based. It's like uh, she can said earlier. Um, it sort of drags you towards the uh, the zero 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 point of whatever map you're on. Um, we don't have but to because that one yeah, but because a lot of the enemies, especially in this game, are starting consistent positions. Um, yeah, when it just works, that's beautiful. Right, heading into the gardens, we've got a skip in here. Actually, there's there's a whole lot of in the gardens. <laughs> just, just a skip. <laughs> yeah, so there's the, so first there's these guys. After this, there's a predator that they're actually three predators, and we skip all three of them. Yeah, they are just completely <laughs> optional. Yeah, right. in, in the old route, you just kind of snuck past this and and went to the um, uh, went Over to deactivate way. the electrified floor that he's about to encounter. Yeah. yeah. So we're we're gonna skip the electrified floor with uh, another zip. Yeah. So so what you do is you basically stand here and then you walk forward and it turns out this part of the water isn't electrified because that's how that works and then zip. Yeah, ele electricity is complicated. Hopefully I have enough height. This is a little tight. Good. Perfect spooky music for this. Uh, okay, we made it. Yeah. Nice. If you're if you're too low there, he grabs the lower ledge, and then you have no option but to drop down, and then you're just stuck and have to do it again. No fun, but we got it. Yeah, you have um, very limited margin for any any kind of out of bounds things in this game. Yeah. So here's a room. Um, so the the idea of this room is that you're supposed to get to the end of it without taking anybody out, which is totally what I'm doing right now. Yeah. What what's meant to happen is is if you take out anybody, then uh, the collars around their neck starts uh, crying. They alert the the dude working the winch at the top, and yeah. he'll drop the cages. But you have like a 15 second window, I guess, or something like it's that. It's a huge it's window. A really big. So that's that's not that's not even an easy mode thing. That oh. is just a really long window. Yeah. I notice how there's an abyss that we throw that we back call this guy into, but Batman doesn't kill, so that guy's he's fine. fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's um there's there's puppies down there. This hack is special because there's three of them in one thing, and also I guess there's a time limit. But like, I don't think I've ever. No, me, me neither. I I think that was a thing that I was warned about. I kind of I can't remember how I know that that thing explodes. Apparently it does. I've literally never seen it. Yeah, I I <laughs> I've genuinely <done> <laughs> didn't know that. I've All right, done. so here's Double Titans. Um, Robo, you can talk about this. Yeah. Uh, so essentially, you got you got two of these um, uh, two of these starting guys. Uh, you kind of want to chain them uh, both. So as you see, like when um, when one of them sort of charges you, they get stuck on the wall. What's meant to happen in the game is that once they're knocked down on the ground and looking quite dizzy, Batman rides them, and you can use one of them to just swing randomly into the other and deal damage. However, getting on a Titan is quite slow. Um, I mean, even in hard mode, this is not just a, in easy mode. Um, you can kind of whistle down the health very, very quickly. But you kind of try to do the same thing in the in hard mode, where you, um, while they're knocked down, or while they're dizzy, or while they're distracted, you chuck an explosive uh, on the ground. It's kind of tough to time, because Batman has to do that uh, animation for the explosive gel for quite a long time. And if he's interrupted at any point during that, then the explosive gel just disappears. Uh, so yeah, that was very, very well timed. Yeah. That was so well done. As well as that goes, and we just blew up those Titan things at the back because that's yeah, the story yeah. or whatever. Yeah, you you also have to destroy destroy the things. Uh, again, the game doesn't really direct you to that as such because because of the way the Titans charge and it's meant to be a long epic fight and they're meant to swing about. Those uh, containers are expected to explode at some point when a Titan sw yeah. swings at them or when you gel them or something. I'm just dropping down to that ledge to skip a little animation. Uh, by the way, the game's about to get very loud because there's this jet engine. Yeah, we've, we've, we've summoned the, the Batwing yeah. uh, for the very important task of flying Batman uh, to other places in the asylum. Yeah. No, um, uh, no, no, not flying Batman's places. It's, uh, what am I thinking of? Yeah, what is this? Line launcher. Line launcher. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to like fly places. Yeah, that would be. Why would you want to do that? Uh, that would be Fast de travel? De detrimental to the environment. Yeah. All right, thanks, Batwing. You were super useful. Yeah. All right.
Alright, now we have the line launcher, so we can launch lines. That's, yeah. There we go. That speaks for itself. <clears throat> yep. You definitely launch that line. Alright, now we're getting to a another kind of scary part of the game, which is Killer Croc's lair. But first, yeah. we got to get out of here. Well, first, we're supposed to talk to Ivy, but yeah. we, we don't yeah. have to. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not even um, necessarily a, a glitch or stuff. Um, in in canon, you're supposed to uh, talk to Ivy so that she tells you to, oh god, what is it? Check the check the sewers. Um, with Crocs there. She gives you like a clue. She tells you to talk to Cash. Ca oh, Aaron Cash. That was yeah. it. And then Aaron Cash goes, oh, I don't know. Maybe we should check the sewers. Um, but it turns out you can just go and check the sewers yourself. Yep. Um, so I just got storage on a reversible corner and also knocked a guy down in the process. But yeah, you can still skip that predator. Yeah, that was, a little, that was a little sketchy, but we, we managed to skip it. Uh, so now we're just going to walk out the front door, and absolutely nothing is going to interrupt. Yeah. Uh, wait, no. Oh, uh, no. That's going to interrupt us. Something slightly interrupted you. Um, fortunately, we can just launch a line over here. Man, it's and a good thing go. you just acquired that gadget. Yeah. How convenient. Yeah. Alright, so instead of doing whatever we're supposed to be doing right now, I'm just going to go straight to Croc's Lair the fastest way possible. Um, there's going to be a couple things that make that difficult. Um, so since earlier, whatever, earlier we um, we skipped going to the Bat Cave, and we also therefore skipped leaving the Bat Cave, and there was a wall we were supposed to blow up. Um, that's going to be blocking our way, but fortunately we do have a solution here. So let's just get up there real quick. Oh. Like almost got me. Turn on detective mode here. So there's a pretty precise setup for a zip here. Gotta line up with this line on the floor and then walk forward. I think that's uh, a little sketchy. Okay. Okay. Game kind of gets confused there. We reverse and that launches us up the wall. And then we just glide over here. And then I gotta cancel the animation of opening this door, which I will probably fail at. I have not been getting many cancels today, so. Ugh. Yeah, and this is to load in the room that you're currently in. Yeah. So this is uh, fairly common uh, when you're out of bounds. If you go through uh, a door, it sort of unloads the area that you're in and loads the area that you're going into. If you're out of bounds when you do that, it does the reverse. It essentially unloads the area that you're about to go into and loads the area that you just left. Um, this is there common we go. for. There we go. Uh, so this is coming for um, Asylum Origins and City Possibly Night? Not so, much night. Not so much at night. There's okay. something in night. But you, there's door cancelling at night, but it works a bit differently. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's a frame perfect trick. You have to push the buttons at the same time, and it's difficult. Yeah. It's, it's sort of one of the methods to get back in bounds when you're out of bounds. Mm -hmm. uh, the other more common one, I think, is, is just simply reloading. Yeah. Uh, Oracle was just letting us know that we were running out of time there. Um, I don't know what she's on about, but... Oh, uh, protocol 10 is in 10 hours. I think she knows where... Are we in danger of running out of behind the estimate? Uh, we'll see. Alright, so here's Croc's lair. Um, this is both scary in the sense that Croc is scary, and in the sense that basically if I do anything wrong here, I instantly lose a minute. Or more. So, no pressure. I'm equipping the right gadget here. As slowly as possible. Yeah, we're going to go very slowly here, yeah, yeah. totally. Sounds exactly like the sort of thing you want to do. Um, so the reason I'm line launching diagonally is, I mean, that just makes sense path-wise, but also if you line launch in a straight line, Brock will just pop up. Yeah. Wow, that music is a lot louder than I remember it being. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, 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 it's meant to go, it's meant to make you uh, yeah, it's regret, jump regret your life choice. It's yeah. just... um, so you can interrupt these. I probably won't. Oh, of course, I got it. <laughs> yeah. so it just looks a little awkward, but it's it just interrupts the thing where he like goes down and touches it. I'm gonna go over here. So we have to collect five of these things. So that's one. Here's two. But the game has a sort of preset order for you in that your raids will always give you the, the send you the correct one. But you basically just need to get all five of them. Yeah. So there's a zip I could do here, like right as Croc is running. Croc's gonna pop out and run at us. There's a zip I could do, but um, basically, if you do that, there's a 50% chance that Croc will grab you and you'll die, and then there's also a 50% chance that you'll fall in the water and you'll die. So we're not gonna go for I that. I like those odds. 
It doesn't it doesn't lose too much time though. Like it's it basically just takes you here, so very small. Here. And that, yeah. This is a... should pop up behind this wall. Yeah. It says danger, do not enter. But it's okay for him to exit. See ya. We're gonna troll Croc a lot in this. It's cause we can. Yeah, Croc's gonna pop out here and we're totally gonna deal with him. Yeah. Yeah. See ya. He can't, the, he can't turn very well, so yeah. he kind of just has to commit to what he was already yeah. doing. <laughs> Here's the fun of the puff for a while. It's 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 really useful because he doesn't re really despawn unless you're not looking at him. It's not unlike alien isolation blindfolded. Yeah. <laughs> Getting like all of these. That's crazy. Mm. Just because I couldn't get the door canceler. It's the it's the exact same like technique. You're just um, you're overlapping the interact animation with uh, a cinematic gadget, or an, or rather an alternate fire gadget. In which, in this case, we use the explosive gel because it's just very convenient, and it's not like a long animation. Croc right. can break platforms now. Um, it doesn't really matter, but um, I don't and really and like that line launch. I'm gonna... Oh dear. Is he gonna? You, got, you know, he can't follow you. No. You know, he, he can't turn it into sections. Yeah. He can only turn it actual corners. Gotcha. Okay, so what the game wants you to do now is it wants you to go all the way back the entire path that you just took to get to the entrance. Um, we're going to try to not do that. Oh, yeah, also shout out to the sonar beacon we totally put on the pipe there. Yeah. Don't you see it? Pipe. It's right there. I'm getting out of here. He won't be a problem. Yeah, Croc won't be a problem. All right, so uh, basically we're now at the entrance. <laughs> yeah, you might you might have noticed that 515 meters turn into 200. Yeah. And here's another one. So there's supposed to be like a chase sequence here, <clears throat> um, but we just skipped the start of the chase sequence, so we're just kind of going back normally. It's kind of good to put it in context when you've got the literal uh, distance suddenly changing by 300 yeah. meters and then 100 meters. Should be fine. He can still pop up when you do this, but it's usually okay. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. He did swipe at you from uh, underneath the floor. Here's you the sequence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Croc is by the way coming for you. Yeah, he's he is right here. There he is. <laughs> Hi, Croc. Bye bye. Yeah. So we got that. That was really awesome. Awesome. Yeah. By the way, in a, in a non-speedrun sense, you can have so much fun uh, dealing with Croc shenanigans if you um, use any kind of zip to avoid putting the, the first beacon up. Um, you can you can jump down into the depths with him, for example. Uh, you can make him teleport all over the place by getting him very confused about when he's meant to chase you. We got a another big skip here. Um, I don't know if I'll get this one. If I don't get it, it's not a big deal, but I would... I'm going to try. Yeah, so you're supposed to, uh, basically, so we're going to the bat cave to get the ultra claw, or ultra bat claw. Basically, he takes three bat claws and tapes them together, um, and that's a new yeah, gadget. And then we're supposed to glide to some islands because the entrance gets blocked, and we need to still get back um, out of this cave. Uh, so what we're going to do is skip the part where we uh, glide to all of these islands, because um, that's slow. Uh, the way you do that is you do a zip, to the ceiling first, um, after he admires his duct tape creation. He really likes that thing. <laughs> I don't blame him, it's a cool gadget. It is very cool. Also, if uh, Shigen hadn't skipped the cutscene, um, you would have seen Batman investigating the evidence from the back computer, which is very much turned off Ooh. because you didn't get the back plot right. earlier. I oh. might get to try this again, but setting up the zip is kind of weird when you don't have the cutscene to set it up for you, so right. we'll see. Doesn't feel good. No. Uh, okay. All right. No. All right. No back yeah, game no, skip. No back game skip. Okay. We're gliding around the islands. Let's uh yeah. pull down this so wall. This is why we the ultra back call lets us pull down walls like this. It's, uh, very handy. Pretty. It's very handy, and it the ultra call doesn't exist in the other games for some reason. Yeah. Uh, it, it, was, it was too ultra. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was pretty overpowered, so they kind of had to roll it back. 
Um, so this is just like intended gameplay now, pretty much. We can take a donation. All right. I have a donation here from Raylian, which is $25. That says, good luck. And uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck, Shigen. Yeah. Doing great. You're almost there. Hopefully, if I look at the estimate. Yeah. <laughs> that also went towards the Alien Isolation Blindfold at Mission Percent. That puts it past a thousand dollars already on that incentive. We're less than five hundred dollars away. We can definitely make that happen before that run starts. And honestly, you do not want to miss it. Like being able to not see Alien Isolation to me is a big boon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but like seeing less Alien is always a better idea for me. I mean, it depends. Will we still be able to hear it? Fair enough. Fair <laughs> point. <laughs> You're making a fair point there, Robo. Also, where are we? When are we getting the shark repellent bat spray? Bat spray? Uh, shark repellent is in Arkham City, unfortunately. Oh damn. Yeah. Wait, there's a shark in Arkham City? Uh, Allegedly. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's an Easter egg. You kind of have to hunt for it. All right. So if, you, if you're a wizard, you can also teleport to it. Here's a fun little zip. Just kind of awkwardly takes us all the way down this hallway. And here's this like parkour room. There's a lot of parkour in here. It's a little awkward. Um, so we're just not gonna do it. We're just gonna go here and do a zip. In, in fairness, this is the second time you haven't done the parkour. Oh, nice. Oh. I got the fast Oh. It took me all the way up here. Usually it just takes you like down there somewhere, but I got it the cool way. Yeah, this is basically all the climbing in one go. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, so we're in the sewers right now, and um, there's a bu we're supposed to basically Yoink. disable some things to stop Joker from releasing some chemical called Titan into the sewers. We, I don't think we ever mentioned that. There's something called Titan we're trying to stop. Yeah, it's, um, like, it's, like, it's like Bane's Venom. Yeah. But and then it, there's, there's eventually a sewer. We're going to basically skip all of that, and then there's like a sewer Titan that's a, kind of a really difficult boss fight, even especially on easy, actually, because you skip it. But we're going to do a little zip to skip that. Yeah, I'm just going to go right up here, do something like this. And then we'll awkwardly make our way over here. And right in the middle of this. I think I actually am a little too far forward. Okay, and then aim this here and zip. All right, now we're in the elevator shaft that takes us out of here. Nice. Uh, getting up this is a little awkward because you're not really supposed to do it like this. You're supposed to knock down this elevator first. So we got to grapple up, drop down, grapple up, place explosive gel. And you can't climb this, so yeah, you have so you to gotta yeah. drop yeah. down and then grapple up again. Yeah. The game expects a lot of the architecture to not be here, and therefore it's not uh, traditionally climbable. Yeah. That's that taken care of, and now we are on our way to the Poison Ivy boss fight. You know, Zaz is counting on you finding his work. <laughs> Alright, so there's now these, like, spore things all over the island. That happened earlier, but it matters now. <laughs> um, they uh, they try to shoot at you, but they're kind of slow, so we can mostly just ignore them for now. <laughs> it's easy mode. They do no damage. Yeah. They, they chunk like a third of your health if they come hard. Yeah, it's ridiculous. A uh, fun fact about them, if you crouch as you walk past them, they actually can't see you. Like, it's stealth. A lot of yeah. people don't know that. I mean, I didn't know that until, like, I don't know. But you can also, if you're, if you're quick enough, you can also directly run up to them full pelt and then just punch them. You will pay. Although, although here, they don't matter. Yeah. They'll shoot me, but they don't matter. Um, so there's a little bit of debris blocking the entrance here. Um, we're just going to... So just like that. Sure, that is a lot harder than it looks. Like it, it really is. You, you're expected to go through the vents. Um, oh, it's getting a little we always used to use the, uh, the line launcher as a backup to jumping over that. But that is... <laughs> More food for my I think Shikin said that's actually harder to, for him. That is... <laughs> Using the line launcher. Uh, I find the line launcher a bit more consistent just because you've got the, the indicator. Cutscene and then go for it. Uh, scan that riddle. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a riddle in this hallway. Scanning it just refills our health a bit, which is very important because we're going to lose a lot of health during the Ivy fight on purpose. In fact, I don't know if that 200 XP is going to be in. No. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, it refills you on easy. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I always forget exactly how it works. And we did a line launch to skip a cutscene. Yeah. 
All right, here is Poison Ivy Robo. You can talk yep. about what I'm doing um, here. So, so what the game wants you to do is to uh, dodge uh, all of these um, vines, and then Ivy will come out during the second phase where she stands up. But what actually happens is that if you get caught in the vines, um, Ivy opens her defenses so that she can mock you, which is exactly what Batman plans. And that means the Batarang that you threw just before you got caught uh, hits her, so you can kind of see her health suddenly taking a massive chunk uh, as soon as Batman gets hit and her screaming very loudly. I got all four. Wow. Nice. Very good. So, so this phase is the part when you're meant to do damage to Ivy yeah. when she uh, opens that and, uh, and, and taunts you. But... Uh, yeah, just because uh, Batarangs always do damage, and because uh, really fast. <laughs> the, the taunting happens regardless. It's kind of neat that they put it in that. that I think, you know, um, in, in the lesser game, it just would li literally have done no damage until she was in this part of the phase. Yeah. But they connected it to her taunting you rather than to a specific part of the boss fights, which I quite like. It is also possible to win like this in hard, but you have to be incredibly precise because you do significantly less damage and significantly you take significantly more. Yeah. Also, you'll notice uh, Shikin is throwing Batarangs at an incredibly fast rate. Um, he's alternating between regular ranks and multi ranks. Yeah, and when people do this on hard, they usually refill their health um, after each vine. Yeah. So it's... yeah, we used to call it bat snacking. Yeah. If you uh, get an armor upgrade, uh, it completely refills your health and then adds 25% to it. Yeah, always, always like having a bat snack, and it was almost always during this fight. Yes. <laughs> you could also do crits in this phase, but it's not really worth it unless you're like Pepsi going for a world record. All right, that's Ivy done. Yeah. Nice. Alright, so all that's left is to go to whatever is going on over here. Looks like a party. Yep. Let's <laughs> pick down our own. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little detail. Yeah. You know, in, Ar in Arkham City, they have a, uh, a bat signal towards your waypoints. Pardon me, thought that was a bit on the nose. <laughs> Alright, so we've got one last zip in the run that we're going to try to do. So. When we enter uh, the party, um, there's these guys standing outside. They have the guest list. They got to check to make sure we're on the guest list. Um, that's a little slow. You could beat them up and then go in, and that's a little faster. Or you can just go in the back door, like something like this, if I get this right. Reverse, reverse. Perfect. And now I'm going to also do another skip here. So I'm going to do a cinematic gadget throw right as this door closes. So you see there's this Batarang flying out of bounds, and that means I have full control of Batman in this sequence where you're not supposed to. Um, I can line lash through that glass because it's not real. And then we can just, there's, you're supposed to like wait for Joker to stop talking there. Yeah, and, and, and explode your face. Yeah, we're just not going to do that. Yeah. Um, so here's the double Titan fight. This is the worst thing in the entire game. <laughs> Sorry, he's just skipped it's all the others. already gone wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're, so ideally you want to do the same thing that we did in the other Double Titan fight with the gel, but this time there's like six Goose. to ten guys who are also there, which make it substantially harder. So And yeah, if these guys are too close together, um, it's very easy to accidentally uh, ride them while yeah. you're, while you're uh, placing the gel, so... Yeah, so you have to back call these guys down. Yeah. This is. I should also mention, ironically, one of the the big uh, time sinks of this fight yeah. is uh, if you're um, uh, battering the uh, the Titans from far enough away, it slows down time as you would have seen while they are running and oh. are. Oh, yeah, that's that's the kind of thing. That and happens. are blinded. Yeah, it's so, so is, is, that's happened. This is how you're intended to do it, but yeah, now we kind of have to just ride the Titans yeah. to do it. Not doing the gel stuff at all is like 40 seconds slower. But at least I got like one of them, kind yeah, of. Yeah. I mean, you, you basically chunks all the health, but with third each, I think. Yeah. Just and he's ready, he's ready to go down. Ideally, I can get away before he does anything and then he'll charge me. Any second now. Just, you know, whenever you feel like it. <laughs> there he is. Do 
Chow here. Yeah, Chow will take the huh. Alright, that could have been worse. Now we just have to wait. Yeah. You don't have to fight these guys. The game just moves on. Yeah, now we're going to do the best boss fight in the series. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Alright, this boss fight is real tricky. So, so right up. Right off the bat, we're going to run away from him. Yeah. Just... There we go. Yeah. We'll just run away from him. And we're going to run away from him. And we're going to run away from him. Well, don't don't get hit by his massive yeah. claws. And we're going to keep running away from him. All right, and that's phase one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is the epic boss fight. Batman versus Tyson Jokers. Henchman. Yeah, so I'm going to blow up the guys on the right so that they go into the electrified walls. And then I'm going to bat claw the guys up top, which ideally knocks them out. It knocked out one of them, which is good enough. All right. I just have to wait. Eventually, this helicopter is going to come. Joker's going to get distracted. Gives us a perfect opportunity to grab him. There we go. Knock him down. Punch him in the face a couple times. All right, that's the full phase. Uh, phase two is totally different because this time we're just going to walk away from him. Mm. With a little bit of run. Yeah. Just, just, just remember, if people start on you and you think they're going to you know, fight and they're trying to aggress you, they're taunting you, just, just walk away. Yeah. It's it's the sensible sensible option, man. It's not worth it. Yeah. It's, it's not worth it, mate. Oh, that was a little too close to the gel there, so it stunned me. Oh, yeah, here's knife guys. Um, <laughs> you have to stun them and then punch them. We haven't oh, yeah. seen a single one in the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they exist in this game. Yeah. That that's, that's a mechanic that you first get in the medical center. You know, that place that you definitely went to. I had to blow up those teeth that Joker threw into the arena. If you don't, they can blow you up while you're trying to do this. You got to keep an eye on what Joker's doing during the fights so you don't get blindsided by one of those. And this is going to be even more different because we're going to crouch walk yeah. away from him. All right. He's crouch not worth it, mate. Don't 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 do it. Just don't don't engage. Just just let let him be. Turn the other cheek. And lastly, same idea, blow these guys up, yoink these guys, some of them will come over the ledge, some of them won't. I got two of them, that's pretty good actually. Yeah. Usually I get none of them. Oh, okay, no combo, that's fine. I forget, you don't actually get combo ranks during this run, do you? Uh, nope, no. only on hard. Yeah. Alright, and this is the end of the run, time is going to be right when he gets yoinked, and time. Nice. GG's. All right. Um, I guess we'll do some quick shout outs. Um, uh, if you're interested in anything you've seen here today, um, you can check us out on speedrun.com. Uh, we have a Discord server, all that stuff. You can find it all there. Um, and shout out to the Batman Arkham community as a whole, um, most notably these guys right behind me. And uh, Bepsy for just pushing this game to the absolute limit. He is the world record holder in almost every category in this game. Yeah. Um, shout out to Slick Pantry. He found like half the skips we use in this run. Just like completely changed the game for us. Uh, shout out to Radiator and D4. They both wanted to be here. Unfortunately, they could not make it. And uh, shout out to you, the viewers and the donators. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you well did done. my job for me for the most part there, uh, she can say. So thank you as well for running Batman Arkham Asylum here. Before you go, I have to send you off with a few lovely donations. We got the love has been coming in for Batman Arkham Asylum. I have for $15 that just says heart. And I have Anonymous here for $100 that says nice. love the runs. Thank you all for making this happen. And that includes you, chat. And the person next to you, and you guys in the audience as well. Yeah! yeah. Cheer yourself on there. Nice work, audience. Exactly, exactly. Thank you all for being part of this, and thank you so much for those donations. They're going towards a great cause. Now, that is actually it. Gonna, gonna be it for me for this particular segment. I'm gonna be back later this week, but I'm gonna hand it off to Water Arco, and we're gonna have those X with Heinke coming up next. So do not go anywhere. ESA is going around the clock here. Let's keep on going, everyone. <laughs>